हेलो फ्रेंड गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम बैक टू योर फेवरेट टेक्निकल चैनल ए वी एम टेक एंड्रॉइड टुडे आई एम अवेलेबल विथ अ सिक्स वीडियो लेक्चर रिलेटेड टू हिट ट्रांसफर बाय मीन्स ऑफ रेडिएशन दिस इज अ क्यू आर कोड ऑफ माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड एज यू नो द यूट्यूब चैनल नेम इज ए वी एम टेक एंड्रॉयड सो आई दर यू कैन सर्च ए वी एम टेक एंड्रॉयड ऑन द यूट्यूब एंड यू कैन सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल you can enjoy the free video lectures for heat transfer or you can scan this qr code and you can log in into the uh, youtube channel you can subscribe it and you can watch the free videos so today i am available with a new video lecture related to electrical analogy for heat transfer by means of radiation so in the last video lecture we had discussed about heat transfer between two non black bodies and today we will discuss with very simple analogy that is electrical analogy for heat transfer by means of radiation so friend today we will discuss about all these systems so this is a general system for three body that is electrical network for three non gray bodies and how the heat transfer by means of radiation is calculated with help of formulas related to this uh, gray body we will discuss in detail about that part you can see another sketch that is talking about electrical network for three black bodies one more uh, figure that is talking about if three bodies or you can say the surface theory is a uh, very large how the electrical network is reduced and this page is talking about network for four gray bodies so in general today we have to discuss about different electrical networks for you can say very large body one body is a black body or all the three bodies are black body so in detail we have to discuss about all this network and in the next video we will discuss about numerical part of this topic the book which i am referring at present is the heat transfer by dr av mehta and professor pg choksi from books india publication you can also refer the same for detail analysis this is one of the very good book so in the last lecture we had discussed or we had try to go for electrical network for thermal radiation system we had discussed the theory related to heat transfer between two non black bodies in the description box the links are available you can refer that link and again you can go through that free video lectures so now we will start with electrical network part this is a one of the easiest approach through which we can solve the problem related to heat transfer by means of radiation whether it is a black body or it is a non black body that is a gray body or you can say of real body so in the previous video lecture we had discussed that 1 minus epsilon divided by a into epsilon that is known as a surface resistance and it is related to the surface property of the radiating body so epsilon that is emissivity a that is area so 1 minus epsilon divided by a into epsilon that is known as a surface resistance and this surface resistance is related to the surface properties of radiating body whereas 1 upon e1 f12 that is known as a space resistance and that is related to the distance and geometry of the radiating bodies so if i am talking about two different bodies then here what is available that is a space resistance and the resistance offered by this body and this body these are known as surface resistance so f12 that is the shape factor and a1 that is the area of body 1 f12 stand for fraction of energy that is leaving body 1 and reach to body 2 so this space resistance 1 upon a1 f12 is related to the distance and geometry of a radiating body whether this radiating body is a concave surface convex surface it is a flat plate or different geometry 
so first we will talk about electrical network analogy for two non black or you can say gray body exchanging the heat with each other so in the previous uh, video we had discussed two different bodies are there you can say this is body one this is a body two these are non uh, uh, black body here the radiation heat exchange takes place between body one and two and we had derived the formula based on that so now what we will do is okay, when two bodies are there definitely for body one and body two two surface resistance are there and definitely one space resistance is there this is a space resistance so total three resistance are offered one two and three so this is the electrical network for this uh, two non black bodies eb1 that is the total emissive power of black body one eb2 that is the total emissive power of black body two 1 minus epsilon 1 divided by a1 epsilon 1 and 1 minus epsilon 2 divided by a2 epsilon 2 that is the surface resistance offered by body 1 and body 2 whereas 1 upon a1 f12 is a space resistance offered by the space between the body 1 and 2 or you can say the distance between body 1 and 2 and geometry of radiating body so if we we'll go for electrical network that is net heat exchange takes place between these two body we can write it is eb1 it is you can say eb1 minus eb2 divided by summation of all the resistance offered between body 1 and 2 that is 3 okay so eb1 minus eb2 divided by first resistance second resistance and third resistance so what is eb1 that is sigma that is stefan boltzmann constant into a1 into t1 power 4 minus t2 power 4 that is absolute temperature of body 1 absolute temperature of body 2 area of body 1 and this is a stefan boltzmann constant okay uh, in the denominator part also we go for some simplification we will go for this a1 by a2 so upon simplification what you will observe here is it is q12 that is equals to 1 upon 1 minus epsilon 1 divided by epsilon 1 plus 1 upon f12 plus 1 minus epsilon 2 divided by epsilon 2 into a1 upon a2 into into sigma a1 t1 power 4 minus t2 power 4 bracket complete or we can write that as fg that is the gray body factor what is the gray body factor this is called the gray body factor this is the gray body factor so this fg12 that is the gray body factor into sigma into a1 into t1 power 4 minus t2 power 4 and this is the most general equation for two non black bodies which are exchanging the heat where this epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 that is emissivity for body 1 and 2 a1 a2 that is area of body 1 and 2 sigma that is the stefan boltzmann constant t1 and t2 that is the temperature of body 1 and 2 so if we will go for again a similar kind of thing that is electrical network for two non black bodies which are parallel to each other so this was the case which we had discussed these are two non black bodies which are parallel to each other this is a plane one this is a plane two so we know that area are same a1 equals to f uh, a2 f12 is equals to 1 because these uh, bodies are flat plate so body one cannot see the body one again the u-turn is not allowed or what is called this radiation waves cannot come back so we had discussed in the previous theory links are available in the description box you can refer why this is not possible we had discussed this part and according to this uh, uh, reciprocity theorem we can write a1 f12 that is equals to a2 f21 
so in the previous equation simply we have to modify this part and our equation is this f12 that is fg12 that is 1 upon 1 minus epsilon 1 divided by epsilon 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus epsilon 2 divided by epsilon 2 that where this epsilon 2 and epsilon 1 these are emissivity values for body 1 and 2 If we we'll go for more simplification of this part, we will get 1 upon 1 upon 1 upon epsilon 1 plus 1 upon epsilon 2 minus 1, which is a you can say uh, you can uh, we can say this is a simplification form. If we will not do in that case also, it is similar to equation number 39. Now, if we'll talk about electrical network for concentric cylinder or sphere, what we have to do simply we have to put what is the ratio of these two areas. If we'll talk about cylinders, we have to put area value that is pi d1 and pi d2l. That is, we will get d1 upon d2, or you can say r1 upon r2. And for concentric cylinder, f12 is again 1. If it is a sphere 4 pi r1 square 4 pi r2 square so we will get r1 square divided by r2 square if it is a sphere. So our gray body factor that will be changed accordingly. So it is 1 upon 1 minus epsilon 1 divided by epsilon 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus epsilon 2 divided by epsilon 2 into this ratio of area. So this ratio of area may be r1 upon r2 for cylinder or it may be r1 square upon r2 square for sphere. So at present simply we will write a1 upon a2 and according to the uh, shape of the body we have to write the areas. Now the previous thing which we had discussed that was related to only two bodies. So now we will start very important case that is a radiation heat exchange between non-black bodies or gray bodies where bodies are three or more in numbers. So now we have to use the knowledge of electrical engineering where we learn star delta network, delta star network and all these things that knowledge we have to use and we know that from electrical engineering point of view at junction the flow of current is zero so this j1 j2 j3 are junction and at junction the flow of current is zero so here we can understand three bodies are there so the three bodies include you can say the three body that is first body is eb1 second body is eb2 and third body here is eb3 so when three bodies are there you can say one two three or any kind of arrangement what you will observe three surface resistance so one minus epsilon one divided by a1 epsilon one one minus epsilon two divided by a2 epsilon two and 1 minus 3 divided by 1 minus epsilon 3 divided by a3 epsilon 3 that is a surface resistance whereas the space resistance offered are 1 upon a1 f12 that is between body 1 and 2 between body 1 and 3 it is 1 upon a3 f31 and it is between body 3 and body 2 that is 1 upon a3 f32 or you can write here as 1 upon a2 f23 according to reciprocity theorem so either you can write this or you can write this here also 1 upon a3 f31 that is also equals to 1 upon a1 f13 here also you can write 1 upon a1 f12 that is equals to 1 upon a2 f21 according to reciprocity theorem. Now how to make the equation and how to find out what is the net heat exchange between these three body that we will see in the next uh, uh, slide.
that is when we have to solve this we have to keep this knowledge in our mind that is we have to use the kirchhoff flow at node point and at node the value of current flow is zero so if we'll talk about node 1 j1 then we have to write eb1 minus j1 eb1 minus j1 divided by the resistance offered that is 1 upon epsilon 1 divided by a1 epsilon 1 plus j2 divided by j1 divided by 1 upon a1 f12 that is this resistance and third one that is j3 minus j1 divided by the resistance offered that is 1 upon a3 f31 so this is a uh, space resistance this is a space resistance and this is a surface resistance and that is equals to zero because it node the flow of current is zero in the similar way if we'll go for node 2 and 3 you can say if we'll go for node 2 then what we have to do we have to go for eb2 minus j2 divided by this resistance offered plus we have to go for j3 minus j2 divided by the resistance offered plus j1 minus j2 divided by the resistance offered that is a1 f12 so this is for node 2 in the similar way if we we'll go for node 3 node 3 then what we have to do simply we have to go for eb3 minus j3 divided by this resistance plus j1 minus j3 divided by this resistance plus j2 minus j3 divided by this resistance that is equals to 0. So we will get three different equation equation number 1 equation number 2 equation number 3. So here three equations are there and three unknowns are that j1 j2 j3 three unknowns are there. So we have to use the matrix, we have to solve it because we know EB1 that is sigma A1 T1 power 4, EB2 that is sigma A2 into T2 power 4, in the similar way EB3 that is equals to sigma into A3 into T3 power 4. So we know EB1, EB2, EB3, we know A1, A2, A3, we know epsilon 1, epsilon 2, epsilon 3 only unknown part is j1 j2 j3 so here three equations three unknown we can easily solve it okay so in when we'll go for real examples in the next video we will solve some problems so this is a very easy for you and easily you can calculate what is the net heat exchange in this case now out of all these cases we have to consider some special cases so the first special case is out of all the three bodies if all the three bodies are black bodies <clears throat> so if all the three bodies are black body in that case the surface resistance is zero so you can say eb1 that is equals to j1 EB2 that is equals to J2 and EB3 that is equals to J3. So the surface resistance which is offered here that is 0. It means our reduced form of circuit is this only. So again for network 1, 2 and 3 we have to write the equations and we have to solve it because now this EB3 or eb this is equals to j eb1 that is j1 eb2 that is equals to j2 and eb3 that is equals to j3 so our equations are reduced and easily we can solve it now the special case is you can say out of all the three bodies The third surface or the third enclosure is a very large. You can say body 1, 
and body two you can say one is a heater one is something as that is placed in the room that is your third body so here the third body is a very large compared to body one and body two okay so what we have to do so in that case we know that a3 that is a very large compared to a1 and a2 so this third body for the third body the surface resistance offered is negligible that is tends to zero so you can see the surface resistance value 1 minus epsilon 3 divided by a3 epsilon 3 that tends to zero and because of that you can see eb3 that is equals to j3 and now with this electrical network you have to solve the problem with assumption that the third body is a very large compared to body 1 and 2. So again we have to go for three different networks that is network J1, network J2 and network J3 and we have to write the equation what we did for you can say network uh, for node point 1 it is EB1 minus J1 divided by this resistance plus j3 minus j1 divided by this resistance plus j2 minus j1 divided by this resistance that is equals to 0 this is your equation 1 in the similar way for network 2 and for network 3 we have to write the equations now very important thing so when three bodies are there we had observed three surface resistance and three space resistance and for three body the shape was triangle. Now we are talking about radiation heat exchange between four bodies. So when four bodies are there what we can see is one, two, three, four. Four surface resistance are there and what you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 space resistance are there and the shape which you have to draw that is the rectangle or a square. So if the question is there are 5 bodies five bodies then what happens for the five bodies the five surface resistance are there and you can say the shape is pentagon the shape is pentagon and you have to write five plus you can say six seven eight resistance are there so eight resistance are there if it is a pentagon five bodies if it is a six body then it is a hexagon if it is a seven body it is a heptagon and all this thing so very important thing is when four bodies are there four gray bodies the shape is like a square or rectangle if it is a five body the shape is you can say of pentagon if six body you can say hexagon heptagon and so on so when you have to solve the problem again same thing you have to do what you have to do is again i am erasing so if this is a four body problem and we have to solve it so what we have to do it is a very simple what we did for three body same thing we have to do for four body so what we have to do we have to consider the network g1 and we have to write a node point j1 eb1 minus j1 divided by this resistance plus j2 minus j1 divided by this resistance plus j4 minus j1 divided by this resistance plus j3 minus j1 divided by this resistance that is equals to 0 for node 1 for node 2 node 3 and node 4 you have to write the equation like this so what you will get is four equation 
four unknown and you can solve the problem so friend i hope it is very much clear to you it is a very simple and it is very much easy for you to understand so what we had discussed the same thing is mentioned here this table one is talking about the different bodies that is gray body diffuse body opaque body when two surfaces are there <coughs> we know a1 equals to a2 f12 is 1 and the q value is this either you remember or you can derive no problem easily you can derive if this are two bodies are two infinite long concentric cylinder then the ratio of a1 a by a2 that is r1 by r2 f12 is 1 Q12 is a1 sigma t1 power 4 minus t2 power 4 divided by 1 upon epsilon 1 plus 1 upon epsilon 2 divided by epsilon 2 into r1 divided by r2. If the bodies are concentric spheres, the ratio of area that is r1 square divided by r2 square. Here only the change is there. Here we have to put square. Otherwise, it remains same. and the important case what we had discussed a small body that is enclosed by a large body in that case the ratio of area is tends to 0 f12 is 1 so this area for this numerical this ratio of area that tends to 0 so the answer is q12 that is net heat exchange between two body That is equals to a1 sigma epsilon 1 into t1 power 4 minus t2 power 4, where a1 that is area of body 1, sigma that is the Stefan Boltzmann constant, emissivity 1 for body 1, t1 that is absolute temperature of body 1, and t2 that is absolute temperature of body 2. So this was related to the electrical network for different body. Either it is a black body, it is a non-black or a grey body, and different enclosure. Either it is you can say concentric cylinder, sphere. One body is very large compared to the other body. All that thing we had discussed with help of electrical network analogy. We had drawn the electrical network also. The different resistance values were also placed at appropriate place, and based on that, in the next video lecture we'll start to solve the numerical part. So at the end, do not forget to subscribe this channel. Do not forget to like this video, and very important, do not forget to share this channel to your friends, to your relatives, to the needy students, where they can see the free video lectures related to mechanical engineering. Again, the channel name is ABM Tech Android, and this is the QR code of the YouTube channel. So either you can search ABM Tech Android on the YouTube, and you can go through these videos, or you can scan this QR code, and you can go through the different videos available in this YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.